Hey, what's up guys? This is the Lead King Russ Ward here and a lot of people have been asking me how I set up automatic paper lead. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how I set that up and, and it's my way. There's not a perfect way to do this yet. Um, but I'm going to show you the way I have it set up. And if you want to, you know, do a version of it, then, you know, hopefully it'll work for you as well. So what the first thing you need to do is be in your high level account. And if you're in like a sub account, well, let's say you're in this sub account, right? You need to click these blue arrows. It'll take you back up to your master account. You're going to hit settings and then you're going to hit Stripe integration. And what you need from Stripe integration is this secret key right here. OK, and I'm going to show you where to get that. So we're going to go over here to my Stripe account. And as you can see, I don't run too much money through Stripe. I, I had some friends that got their funds frozen from Stripe and PayPal. So now I use a fully underwritten merchant account for most things. However, I think Stripe is OK if you're doing just one off things like this. And to me, this is a one off thing. Uh, if we want to make it bigger in the future, I definitely think there needs to be a way to integrate a merchant account into doing this. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to developers and you're going to go to API keys. The key you want is this one right here, the secret key. So you're going to click reveal the key token, or if you don't have one, you're going to create one. And then you're going to copy that. You're going to go back to your high level account and you're going to paste it right here into Stripe secret key. You're going to click save. So now your Stripe account is linked to your high level account. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do uh, in order to be able to charge somebody on a recurring basis every single time a lead comes in is you're going to need the uh, the trigger setup. So I'm going to go down to the business that I'm doing this for and I'm going to show you how I have this trigger set up. So if we go in here to triggers, I just made a trigger called billing. And in my case, I have it set up so when a survey is submitted and then what the survey is called, then the trigger is going to hit, okay? Yours might be a uh, Facebook lead comes in or yours might be uh, it's moved to a different stage in the pipeline. But this is just over here is what you want to trigger this charge, okay? So mine is anytime a, a lead is submitted through a long form mortgage lead um, survey. Now over here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a new, um, a new action and you're going to pick from this, let me move this out of the way, you're going to pick Stripe one-time charge, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to paste that customer number right into there. Underneath there, you're going to see that you're going to have the cost per lead, so I'm charging $15 and then obviously US dollars. And then below that, I just put notifications to myself, okay? So the question is, where do you get this number? And I'm going to show you that. But before I show you that, I have to let you know that you have to get an initial payment from the customer before you can start the automation because it won't create this number until the customer makes the first payment. So the way I do that is I created a sales page. That's my checkout page, but this is my sales page. And this basically tells about my paper lead service, right? This is all the, all the good stuff about it. And then down here at the bottom, it asks how do I get started? And I explain in pretty good detail, you know, it's a 150 setup fee. You're gonna be charged uh, as the leads come in. All right, but the way I get that initial charge is I have them pay 150 setup fee up front. You can make it whatever you want. You can make it a dollar if you want, but you have to get that initial charge so you can set this up. So if you click on that and you go to the checkout page. So as you can see here on the checkout page, it's just a typical checkout page. And then all they're being charged right here is setup fee, 150 bucks, right? So that's where we're going to start with this. So when they complete this order, obviously it gives them a thank you page. But what's happening is Stripe is charging this customer. So then if you go back to your Stripe account and you go back up here to customers, you're going to see this person in here as a customer. So in this case, we're going to look at the top person. We're going to click on them. And then right over here on the left, you're going to see ID, right? ID and this is blurred out because I don't want to share this with anybody. Obviously, I don't want anybody charging my customer. Um, ID is the number you need to copy. And then from there, you're going to go back to your high level account and you're going to paste it in there. And now, as soon as you turn this on, every time this action happens over here. So in my case, every time a long form mortgage survey is submitted, Stripe is going to pull this customer ID and it's going to charge them $15 every single time that happens. So that is how you set it up. Remember, the key is you have to get an initial charge. So then you can go in there and get their customer number and pop it into here. Um, that's the key to all this. And obviously linking up your high level account to your Stripe account. 
So if you guys need any help with this, um, if you're seeing this in one of my courses, go ahead and post in the group and we'll be happy to help you set this up. And if anybody else sees this, wherever I post this video, uh, feel free to reach out to me because it's not a very hard setup, but you know, whenever you're starting out something new, it can be a little bit confusing.